Welcome back, church musicians. We are looking once again at I Feel Like Traveling Gone. This is a little more advanced version uh, of the video. So if you're just starting out, take a peek. I've got a video for you on how to play this one. Uh, but I feel like traveling on for musicians that are familiar with chord structures um, and have played maybe for a little while and are comfortable with some uh, more advanced ideas. So if you're looking for a traditional hymn setting such as the SATB choir version, this is not it. This is more of a by your singer and by your keyboard version. So just wanted to clarify that from the beginning. So we're in the key of F here and I go over the chords and how that works in the first video. So let's get right to uh, a few more thoughts. So one of the ideas that we do with the hymns is to trace out the melody. Again, the hymns are not really written uh, during a time of contemporary bands as we have it today. So for a warmer full sound, a lot of times it would just be the keyboard and the organ, maybe a drum or a bass, a drummer or a bass. So I'm going to do for the piano, I'm going to go ahead and line out the chords. So So instead of just playing the F chord all the way through that line, I'm tracing out the melody so the chord is situated with the tune on the top, C, F, and A. And then as I walk down home, as you notice I'm adding in a minor two chord. So throughout this hymn, we have two main chords that are kind of come in and assist the one chord, which is F, and the five chord, which is C. And that's going to be G minor is the first one I just showed you. So heaven be home. There's the G minor and then the F, and then to your C chord. So it's the same pattern. So whenever the tune walks down, da, 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 A, G, F, when you have that G in the melody, you can spell that as a G minor chord underneath the tune. So it adds a little warmth and fullness there to the, to the chord progression. Okay, so you can try that all the way throughout. So for example, on the chorus, yes, I feel like traveling, same exact spot there. Oh, I feel like traveling, there it is again, and then oh. So you'll find that throughout as you play. The other main chord that I like to add, which is very common for these hymns, is a four chord. So when you're holding on to a single chord, especially the tonic chord, the F chord, for a little bit of time, and it, you just kind of sit there and hold the chord while the singers are singing, or you can brighten it up with the use of the four chord. So, um, so in this case, we ended on the C chord at the end of the first line. And so what I did was just count up four notes from C, the name of my chord, one, two, three, four, and that's the fourth chord above. So I can go, so I just opted to go back to that C, F, A spelling, C chord, F chord. So put it in context, heavenly homies, I feel like See, the singers don't change, but the keyboard adds a little bit there. And so, so we end there. So it's F chord. You can slide up to B flat D F, and then back home. So in this case, because the melody is lower, I'm playing the F chord as A C F, and then I just slide my thumb up to that B flat D F. So those are two very simple fills that can fit easily into the right hand. I do want to comment here, the left hand is not changing chords. Uh, what I'm adding on the four and the minor two chord is simply called a passing chord. So it's not going to change the bass player or what you're doing in the left hand. You can just keep hanging on. So where I just ended there. So you notice my left hand just stayed rock steady there. Okay, so those are just some simple fills there, adding some additional chords, a little more advanced to that as you'd like. Uh, whenever you're playing uh, the five chord, some people automatically like to go to a five seven. So um, if you're coming out of that verse, the first line, feel like traveling on. That's a really classic kind of gospel fill there. So I would move my chord to a C7, B flat, C, E, G, if you want all four notes. And then my left hand, I'm walking up C, D, and then up to E. 
right now I'm assuming I don't have a bass player, so I'm taking over that role in the lower range here. But that provides some color and confidence there uh, and helps your singers feel that motion forward to the next chord. All right, and then the third thing I'd like to share with you is just a little bit of fun I'm borrowing from the uh, gospel tradition, and that is a blues note. In this case, we're gonna add in an A flat. So for the chord of F, F, A, C here, uh, the lower third is a common blues sound there. So I'm gonna take this part and I'm gonna go, um, kind of bringing in that A flat so I'm literally sliding my hand my third finger specifically off of that and you kind of get a little bit of a turned sound there and there it is again on the C chord of taking the third finger to E flat so that gives a little bit more of the gospel sound. It's super simple to do, which is why I love it, but it, it provides a lot of that gospel sound that you might be craving. Um, on the chorus, you could go, yes, I feel like drowning. So I did two ideas there. I used the blue note and then switched to that B flat chord and then back home. So once more, So again, it gives you a lot more to do than just sitting there for that full measure while you're waiting, um, or the, those three beats while you're waiting for the singers to, to sing their notes there. So the other option we want to talk about is getting the left hand a little more involved. We've been mostly just kind of playing through the chords um, and not speaking a whole lot about what you can do in the left hand. So in this case, uh, for hymns such as it's an upbeat, it's a bright hymn, um, it's full of hope and joy, and so usually the left hand is more of a rhythmic uh, part of this duet that we're putting hands together. So one of the ideas that I like to do uh, is to add more rhythm in the left hand. And so if you play with more a smaller hand approach, let's say you don't feel comfortable doing octaves, I'm going to start with you first. So I'm going to do my thumb on F, excuse me, my pinky on F and my thumb on C for the F chord. So this is called the thumb tap approach. So I'm going to just play the basic chords in the right hand just so enough that you can kind of hear uh, the tune and what I'm trying to say. And then I'm mostly going to focus on this left hand rhythm for you. So I'll play a little bit and then I'll stop and speak to you about it. So my Okay, so what I'm doing is planting my fifth finger or wherever you're playing the name of the chord. And I'm just holding that down. And then my thumb, I'm tapping very lightly. So one, two, three, my hands. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Thumb. So pinky thumb, 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 pinky thumb, thumb, thumb. That's a lot to say at once. It's easier to play it. So that's kind of the idea. I'm providing this constant beat here um, that provides uh, energy behind it. So I will caution you, the thumb tends to be a very heavy little digit. Uh, it's short and stubby, and so it's very easy to get bang, 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 bang. So when if you go for this approach, make sure that you play your thumb lightly so you don't overtake uh, the, the other parts that are joining in here. Okay, so if now you like octaves better, I'll speak to you. It's the same idea. We just open the hand up. So if you're playing octaves, I'm assuming you don't have a bass player. So we could drop way down here to the low bass if you like that lower sound there. My so same thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. thumb tap here or some people like to call it rocking the bass so just kind of rocking back and forth so if I put together the things that I've talked about in my right hand to fill it out and add that portion in the left hand this is more of what you'll get So those are just some simple ideas. Um, 
that can help you warm up and fill out your uh, hymn playing. And I hope that it blesses you and blesses your congregations. Have a beautiful day.